Wastewater, what comes out of our drains and sewers, isn't something many of us give a second thought about. But a global news investigation suggests that maybe we should. It has uncovered evidence Environment Canada has deemed many of this country's water treatment facilities are high risk, meaning something nasty may be lurking in the water. But officials refuse to reveal which plants are affected. Shirley Engel has the exclusive details. Every sip Bill Ottawa takes has to be trucked into the Kitigan Zibi Reserve a few hours drive from the nation's capital. You can't use the water for cooking, you can't use the, you know, you can use it for bathing basically and that's it. That's despite millions of federal dollars pumped into upgrading water infrastructure here. This was just a field five, six years ago. Wastewater wasn't treated at all before this facility was built. Still, over half of residents remain on a drinking water advisory due to high uranium levels. They're not even hooked up to this new system. As a citizen of, of this reserve, I mean, I would like to know where we stand in terms of, uh, you know, vulnerability. Wastewater treatment is a problem across the country. Consider your wastewater could become someone else's drinking water. The federal government has imposed new regulations, which means billions of dollars in upgrades. Communities deemed high risk, meaning poor infrastructure or none at all, have until 2020 to comply. How many other communities in Canada have wastewater systems deemed high risk? Global News got this list through access to information, but as you can see, all the names of the municipalities have been blanked out. Environment Canada couldn't explain the censorship to us, but we do know most of the list is First Nations reserves and the Maritimes. And with four plants in need of upgrades soon, Metro Vancouver would be on there too. Most communities would be pleased to share this type of information with their taxpayers, let them know what challenges they're up against. The reality is local politicians prioritize projects voters can actually see. Big city mayors say federal infrastructure money should go to housing and transit first. Wastewater isn't far behind. There's certainly huge needs uh, that we're going to need to upgrade these plants to meet federal regulations. And uh, at this point, the dollars are not promised to meet that test. In Halifax, deemed low to moderate risk, they have an extra 10 years to do the upgrades, but have already started jacking up people's water bills. At this point, we're not aware of any funding sources that we can access other than our ratepayers. Meaning you'll be paying for this mess one way or another. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa. And if you want to see those redacted documents for yourself, we've posted them all online at globalnews.ca.